Hello everyone and welcome to this full game walkthrough of Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. This episode we are going to finish the zone of Port Maje. So I am uh, underneath this guard tower the right there. And I did find a secret hidden stash with our ranger that has high perception. This one dies, Ring of Unshackling, it gives us uh, ability to suppress effects, which is a effect that you can do as a priest. So the first place we're going to go to is Garachi Street, and that place is going to be here. This is the place we need to go to help the guards deal with a local gang that is looting and causing trouble in the area. Okay, so this is Garachi Street, and a lot of times when you get to a new zone in a city, you will get these descriptions about the conditions of the area that you are in. It's a neat way to set the scene, and you'll see a lot of this in the big city, Nekataka. When you close out the description part, you do want to go into stealth because there are some enemies here, like looters and other thugs. There is some combat which is more challenging than others in this area of the island, and so this should give us some time to test out our new characters. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time to rearrange the characters and make sure that my positioning is good, because if I don't do that, I'm going to get stomped in this place. I also need to make sure that the right character pulls aggro first. Okay, that was a uh, probably one of the hardest fights you'll encounter in this Indeed. stage of the game. And it's even harder on Path of the Damned if you don't have a lot of characters, just because you're outnumbered. And a lot of the skills that you have early on are pretty bad. 
So I'm gonna give my guys their proper gear. Not that um, they all have some extra stuff now. Okay, for the most part, that actually went pretty well. Let's go talk to this guy. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I, I cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. But you, you are quite blinding. I am sorry you're dead. Come with me. Dead? Oh, but this is terrible. Ikara, I will follow. You are hard to lose sight of. Oh? There was an item you can get here if you have high enough perception. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, part of this area. Nothing but endless grime yeast. This is not the afterlife I was promised. Not yet, at least. Hmm. You seem to know where you are going. Clearly, the intelligent thing is to follow you, yes? Sure, I can get you to where you need to go. Certainly. Not much cause to come out this way unless you're looking for trouble. Although you found it. We don't want to attack him. Uh, Savia sent me. She needs you to put a stop to the looting. <laughs> Merle, she must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself. But she sent you. No, there's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Okay, we can either uh, use our diplomatic skills or we can pay him money. I'll just try the diplomatic way. A favor? <laughs> Merle, I should buy a dinner. Maybe. Done. I'll do it. Bon piaco. Tell Savia this isn't permanent. Second the water clears up and things are back to normal, we are through. I'll spread the word. Gorechi Street is under a lawful protection now. There we go. Restoring order is done. We just need to return to Savia. Let's move on to the next place. We can now go to the Setahuzi and talk to Mohika. So this is uh, this quest we're doing, find Mojica. And if we look at our map, she's usually up here. There's uh, Mojica's Lodge, but she usually t travels back and forth. As you like. There she is. Outsiders of every sort. This is what the Valians have brought us. You were looking for Kawa? Rinko says you robbed him during a card game. Rinko? The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Why don't you tell me what really happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagati's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. Ikawa told me I should see the tavern, speak with their people, learn patience. The traitor Eofania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game, but none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Ringo. I thought him kind until I proved the victor and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, a filthy islander and a cheat. For that, yes. I beat him. Why does this concern you? So what you want to do is you want to convince him, convince her that Rinko will lose his home. Don't be foolish. Clario will see to him. That isn't how it works. The Valians have to pay for their food and pay taxes. His kinsmen would let him starve? Why did this not prevent him playing at cards in the first place? Are all Valians so mad for coin? So then, what am I to do? I did not wish him dead. 
Give me the coin purse and we'll call it square. Huh. Then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. Okay, we did get his coin purse. Uh, we can take the money if we wanted to. Um, that will not get us the experience though, but it will get you money, so that is the option. Let's head out of town. Rinko's house. Actually, let's go to the jail. Keeping out of trouble. A little jest. What is it? Convinced Elario will keep watch of Grachi Street. Perfetto. He's a little shitne, but a lazy one. He will not cause trouble if he does not have to. Easier to work with a familiar face for the moment. I can deal with him later. So, we have one small part of Port Maggi under control. A good start. Well, here you are, for your time. If I had ten women like you, the whole of Port Maggi would be set right within the week. Okay, the next place we need to go is talk to Rinko, turn in the quest for him. Give him back his money. Most days I'd fire up the kettle for you or something. Sorry. Here, Mohika apologized and returned your money. She what? Let her apologize to my face, the shark spawn. Nella. What good is an apology? Does it fix my ear? Uh, enough then. I am forgiving. You have what I asked for. I promised you a share of the coin. We leave it at that. You have saved my family, Aimika. I say it plain. Agrasima. Alright, burning bridges completed. Alright, we did level up, so I'll be able to level up everyone now. So I will do that, and then I'll continue on when I'm finished. Alright, we are done with Rinko's home. We have completed that quest. I'm gonna go heal up and then we can head on over to the big site for the quest for Glevier, Governor Clario. And I actually will switch out my current healer for Jote because Jote uh, has a part of her quest there. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? I'd like sure a room. Alright, we have our Jote back, and now we can go in and head on over to the part of the island for the dig site is. Let's leave on foot. So we can go to these Aparo Woods, which will actually uh, give us an encounter with some mobs there. So let's do this one, and then we'll head on to the, this dig site. Let's examine the markings. Um, I think I have the highest. Yeah, she's actually pretty high too. Very good.
Gonna find the symbols. Looks Hawana, three overlapping circles. And the undergrowth. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, a guy with some boars. Let's greetings. <laughs> I think we scared him. This guy will give us a necklace if we are nice to him. No, never talk. Just go. Leave this forest. Go leave these islands. Go return from where you've been. I mean you no harm. Can we just talk? Said as if a word never hurts a person. You go. Speak quickly then. Your words disturb this place. I'm just looking to pass through this forest. No, your sort always want. This forest is not yours. This land is not yours. Go, leave. I'm hunting a god. If I fail, your islands will not be spared his wrath. This man frowns and gives us a necklace. Plus one intellect, history, and insight. Then go, take this. Okay. So we get a necklace, uh, plus one intellect. It's going to be very beneficial. Well, if you're sure you're not using it. Let's go to the battleground. We can find stuff in these places. I like the giant skeleton. <laughs> Search. Scale armor. It's not bad. It's a... Uh, that's medium, I think. That's it. Alright, so another place we can go to here. Kura Pass. Search the area. Let's arm the trap. Dar. Search for Zerops. Sneak closer. So we can uh, attack him. Darkness. One ready for reaping. They see you. Miss me too. Let's get our dragons out. And get Edar on one of these, um, I think they're all the same, I think they'll have shields. Yeah, they'll have shields. Doesn't really matter. Let's get one here. Jote, she can start casting. And then our hunter. Let's get on this guy with this guy. Let's mow them down one at a time. Shouldn't be too hard. These dragons do a lot of damage, these little whelps. It is worth going through that just to get some of the stuff that you get from here. I see where you're going with this. Uh, it's just more money. You don't get any really experience from this. Yeah, not much experience. You do get something for your bestiary. That's about it. Nothing really worth it as far as experience goes, but there's money there. So uh, cross out of the way and we should be done. And you can bypass these guys as well. Get some uh, stuff. Hardtack. Okay. Let's get this fruit. 
really good for uh, your ship to have fruit. Gives plus one to morale. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. We have made it to the Anguithian dig site. And we will, in the next episode, go into here and find out what happened to the people here. As you can see, their giant crossed the land into this place. So we will head there. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.